Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing Indians channel. Today we are going to continue with our REST API. So in this lesson we are going to post some JSON data and try to save that data into our database. Okay, let's go to our Postman and post some JSON data. So uh, I have used post. The URL is e 2 rest web to dos That is the name of our controller. And in the params, I'm going to go to body and row, and I'm going to pass him some JSON data. Just make sure this is JSON application JSON. Okay, so I'm going to pass in a string. We have the key of to do name, and I'm going to do new to do JSON, and I'm going to make the status to one. Okay, so this is a JSON object, and let's try to send it. Okay, we get to the name to do name cannot be blank okay this is this error before this error we should configure our e to rest controller to understand uh, json inputs so we'll do that in the web.php file where we have to pass the json okay so we are going to use use the json parser to understand the json input okay once we do that let's go try again okay let's send it and we have our new uh, to do item has been created so this was all done by the active controller in our uh, that has the that he has provided so what if you want to override this so again let's go to postman and do a get request to see all the json objects okay so we have three to do's so now let's override this create model method to do this first you need to override the actions so there is a uh, way to do that you say you must ask ye to not to use uh, the action in active controller but to use the action that you uh, define in this file so I'm going to override actions Okay, first we need to get the parent actions. So let's do dollar actions, and I'm going to unset dollar actions equals unset the action create. So create is the action that we I want to unset. Finally, I want to return the actions action. Okay, so return dollar actions now let's define our own action create so public function action create for now let's just print out the values that we get so we app request post Okay, first we need to use E. I have done that, so don't forget to do that. Let's save and try it out. So again, do a post to E to do's params. Go to body and our let's put one 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 and send. Okay, we get. Okay, we get. Undefined variable action. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here we have to put actions. Okay. Let's try again. Send. Okay. We see. We see the data that is coming in. So our action is working. Just me. Please understand. If we have to do this. If we don't do this, then Active Controller is going to use the action create that it has defined and not ours okay okay let's save and let's do let's save this let's get a model uh, to do oops new to do uh, no please note this has been used at the top uh, PHP storm did that automatically and I'm going to say model load 
what we get here and remember we are not passing a form name so I'm going to have to pa em pass a empty string and once I do that let's do something to the status even though I send the status from my JSON object uh, I'm going to change it back to 10 just so that you know that this is working and let's save it our model and finally return our model okay let's try this um, let's go to body our own action create okay so I am passing one as the status let's send okay let's do the pretty okay we get the object so that means this was saved so let's do a get request again to find out get to get all the to do's okay so we have our to do so now you know how to override the action create it can be action create it can be action delete it can be action index if you go here here there are uh, the default actions that has been provided index view create update delete and options so you can override any of these you simply have to unset that action and return the action so if you want to un override the delete action then do actions delete unset it and actions create unset it and then just return the actions so that's what we have done here actions paid and get the actions first unset the action create then return the actions then define your own action create and do what you want to do here okay so that covers this lesson i hope you understood this uh, do subscribe share and like have fun take care bye